I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret code, 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 Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret waiting when you wait the seconds drag on and on like they're teasing you and when you at last get what you were waiting for you don't get any satisfaction out of it no joy at all our whole life is waiting we wait for the water to boil or for inspiration to occur. We wait for news, or wait our turn. Or for the right moment. In summer, we wait for winter. And in winter, we wait for summer. We wait for a birthday or New Year's, and we wait for the weekend. Calendars and clocks are the worst inventions in the world, but even without them, we'd still be waiting for something. How is it possible to derive any pleasure from this gardening? It's simply impossible. How do we wait till this grows into a tomato? Hey, don't wait too long. Hey, it's a cucumber. What's the difference? What's your secret, Barry? How do you have enough patience to wait for everything to bloom? Hey, I just love gardening, and I couldn't live without it. <laughs> During winter? In winter, you can't do any gardening. How do you have the patience to wait for the spring? In the winter, I sleep, <laughs> and then it's springtime. You, uh, you fall asleep. To avoid waiting, that's genius! <laughs> but how? How can you sleep through the entire winter? <laughs> well, it's so cold that all the organism's processes slow down. Interesting. And that affects all organisms or just their ones? All of them, I would think. I read a few days ago that they found a frozen frog, like a block of ice. They unfroze it and presto, it was jumping all around. Uh, uh, why do you care? Uh, 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 all your functions are slowed down, and you can sleep as much as you want and when you want. If it really works, then no more waiting. There's some sort of new fad sitting in refrigerators. It worked with the frog. Then, then froze him and he was good as new. But you're not a frog. <laughs> you're very much a warm-blooded sheep. <laughs> and you need to keep your frame warm. <laughs> Although overheating's not good either. Our ideal body temperature is 36.6. Changing our temperature up or down by as little as one degree and we would become very cold or hot. 
If our temperature changes by as much as four degrees, then watch out. Our lives are in danger. All of this sensitivity is due to the fact that our body's vital processes are carried out with the help of enzyme. These are substances which accelerate or slow down various chemical reactions in the organism. And these enzymes are very sensitive to changes in temperature. For most of them, the ideal temperature is 37 degrees. But at 40, they are irreparably damaged. Due to this enzyme dependency, we need to protect ourselves from extremes. That's why we wear hats in winter and go swimming or hide in the shade in summer. Instead of hiding in refrigerators, at least spare a thought for your enzymes. And so I had to wait again. I was waiting to get better. But I couldn't stop thinking about the frozen frog. I wanted to study this issue more closely. And so far as I never had any patience, I decided to use the technology of the future. Spheroscope! How can I freeze myself so that I can wake up later on and not wait? And that's how I learned about the fascinating science of cryogenics. Cryonics is the science of preserving biological objects with the aid of freezing. It turns out that lowering the body's temperature slows down the molecule's thermal motion and therefore the speed of all chemical reactions. At freezing, our body doesn't just save stress from unnecessary waiting, it also stops getting cold. In the future, scientists learn to freeze astronauts during long flights between planets. Before, of course, teleportation was invented. Astronauts could remain in this condition for years and not grow old or die from boredom. The unpleasant part turned out to be that our bodies are comprised of about 70% water, and when frozen, water turns into ice which tears tissue. Yuck. It was easier for insects and frogs. Their blood contains a thing called glycerin. This glycerin protects their organisms from damage while frozen. Ha! <laughs> and none the worse, ha! <laughs> For the more unlucky ones, a new method was created. Instantaneous freezing. Due to the rapid decrease in temperature, water molecules aren't able to collide with each other and form ice crystals, which means that our bodies stay whole and safe. Needs to be done. And now, after a few improvements, the refrigerator would be able to relieve me of any waiting quickly and safely. the moment I had been waiting for when I no longer had to wait for anything or anyone. Wait until it cools down.
just a minute. It was a wonderful time. I had completely forgotten what waiting was. But what happened next was totally unexpected. How much time did I spend frozen? Centuries? Or maybe even millennia? What happened to all my friends? What happened with our civilization? I don't know. Maybe I would have stayed frozen if Spearjet hadn't crashed on this deserted planet. I understood too late that our life is expectation, and all its moments are invaluable, even those that are long and tedious, and I had missed them all. And now, all I had left was my last wait for myself. I don't understand. Where's the ice cream? I told you it was empty. We dragged that heavy thing around for no reason. Hey, guys. <laughs> Everything's okay. What could possibly happen on this forsaken planet? Doko's carrying out his experiments while we all die of boredom out here. Uh, I just wanted to eat some ice cream. And Ben, for lack of anything else to do, is overhauling the sphere jet. My friends, I've discovered a fascinating anomaly. I'm afraid we'll have to stay here for a couple more weeks. Oh, what are you got to get me? Oh, hey. Enough's enough. That's okay. Oh. We'll wait. <laughs>